Hello there, I'm Joseph and today I am here on the north side of the Cerro de Gardunia mountain which is just over there and we're sitting at about 650 meters uh, altitude here above sea level. We are in an absolutely gorgeous village here called Alcade. I'm in the very center of the village here. It's got a beautiful uh, cobblestone calzada square here with, uh, with all of these lovely park benches, fountains, trees and everything and flowers. It's, uh, it's a very, very nice village indeed. I actually mentioned al on the channel uh, a few weeks back when I was fishing with my brother-in-law, or turtling I should say, because we caught a, uh, a big turtle in the lake. And uh, yeah, they have just bought a house in this village. And it is an absolutely spectacular little village. It really is a hidden gem on the mountainside here. So today, I thought I would take you on a little walk around, show you everything the village has got, of which there is quite a lot. And yeah, we'll have a little walk around and see what it's got. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I've just left the uh, the village square down there and now I've just been walking around all of these lovely little cobbled lined streets and alleyways and things. This seems to be the main drag, seems to be the uh, the main street as you come into the village, right off of the uh, off of the Gardunia mountain that you can see in the background there. And we've got a few uh, a few office block buildings here and uh, and the school as well. As you can see here, the school is just down there where the uh, where the play park is and everything <laughs> and I've seen quite a few kiddies coming out of school their mums picking them up and uh, and yeah riding off on their bikes and and whatnot and then yeah this beautiful beautiful park here at the side that we're going to take a look around in a second so the name of the village here al qaid actually comes from an arabic word meaning governor or captain and the same can be said with mostly all of uh, Portugal's towns and villages uh, in the centre to the lower southern part of Portugal. Uh, when they start with the beginning uh, of AL, that generally means that, a, uh, that an, Arabic, an Arabic population named that town. And that is because in the year 711 AD, the, uh, the Moors invaded uh, the Iberian Peninsula and what we now know as Portugal and Spain. And um, and yeah, I've just uh, just arrived at this lovely little park, and I really want to show you what's here. It's it's really beautiful. So let's take a look. So yeah, it's a gorgeous little park here with absolutely fantastic views looking out over the uh, the northern side of the Serra da Gardunha mountain, and they've got this uh, beautiful little pool here, and it's got some sort of uh, duck house or something in the middle. Can't see any ducks though, so I'm not sure what's living in there. We'll have a look in a second and see what we can see. But yeah, in the year 711 AD, that's when the uh, the Moors come over from North Africa and they very quickly conquered uh, the Iberian Peninsula. So Spain and Portugal. And uh, and they ruled it for centuries. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a little look around this park. Ah, okay, I can see. I can see what's in there. There's a couple of kids just left school. <laughs> on the on the ladder there, there is a large terrapin. Don't know if I can get any closer. Not sure if you can see him. But yeah, there he is. <laughs> so it's not a duck house after all. How fantastic. How nice. And there's a little dog running after the kids on their bikes. <laughs> and yeah, they've got all of these uh, all of these exercise equipments here. And yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. So it is a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful little village here. And it's got, it's got quite a lot going for it. They've got a, a lovely little school over there, like I said. Uh, some cafes. They've got uh, restaurants close by, not in the village, but cl uh, very close by indeed. Um, they've got mini markets. They've got um, everything. I saw a little shop back there that was selling, uh, selling books and things as well. So a very, very nice village indeed. They actually hold a, uh, a festival here every year, uh, the mushroom festival. It's called uh, Mishkarosh, and um, and yeah, that means uh, that means uh, wild mushrooms. And the the Gardunia mountain here is absolutely famous for its prized uh, wild mushrooms. I go mushroom foraging there every year, as do many many of my friends. Uh, sometimes we go together, but a lot of the time we like to like to keep our our secret mushroom places to ourselves. And um, <laughs> and we go forage mushrooms and we cook them up campfire style in the autumn it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic the uh, the mushroom festival mishkarosh it's uh, it runs normally in the uh, the mid to late part of november uh, of course because that's when the uh, when the mushrooms are about 
and uh, I think I've got some um, some videos or photos from um, from the last year's mushroom festival. So I'm going to uh, to pop them on the screen here, and you uh, and you should be able to see uh, uh, that me and my friends we went to the mushroom festival and had an absolutely fantastic time. There was lots of uh, lots of the local bands playing, uh, all the youngsters there playing their their drums and flutes and everything, all the traditional instruments. It was really really quite something. It was marvellous. But now. I think I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to the village, head to the cafe and, uh, and have a nice ice cold drink of something because uh, it really has warmed up here. It's, um, it's uh, close to lunchtime now and it's probably in the, uh, the mid-30s, so it is quite warm. And yeah, let's go grab a drink. We left the park, and as I come down here towards the cafe, you can see there's a big, uh, a big mural of a mushroom man or something up on the wall up there. <laughs> I'm sure that's uh, that's something to do with the uh, with the mushroom festival. And uh, as I was walking back, I noticed that the office blocks I was talking about when I was uh, when I was speaking down by the park, they're actually the offices of uh, Wild Mushroom Collecting. So that's what they are. <laughs> and as we come here, we have got the Centre of Saud, the help centre, and the uh, and the multi bank, so you can pay all of your all of your bills and whatnot, get your fishing license and all of that sort of thing. And as we continue down here, we've got some lovely, lovely buildings. The um, the mountains in the background behind me over there. And then we come back into the main square here, where we've got the, if I can see it, the Junta de Freguesia, the uh, the parish council offices just here. And uh, I thought it might be, I wasn't sure. My, my brother-in-law lives up there and I just gave him a ring. All right, Lloyd, how's it going? <laughs> oh, mate. You'll, all know, uh, you'll all know Lloyd from our earlier episodes and uh, from fishing a couple of weeks ago. I just gave Lloyd a ring and said, I'm going for a beer in your village. Do you fancy coming? I think your answer was yes, wasn't it? <laughs> Only if you're paying. I'm paying, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now we are here in the uh, in the village square once again. And that's where the lovely cafe is, Cafe Batista. So, uh, so yeah, let's grab a refreshment, shall we? On you. <laughs> On me. <laughs> Putar, putar. Pode ser, pode ser dois cervejas, por favor. Perfeito, sangue, chefe. Bem fresco, não é? Muito obrigado, obrigado. Okay, we've just left the uh, the cafe down the uh, down the bottom of the hill here, and, uh, and Lloyd's gone back up to his house now, back up the hill, and, uh, and we had a, a lovely ice cold drink there, had a lovely chat. We uh, we must have must have spent a couple of hours sitting there, and uh, and the clouds all came over. There was thunderstorms and lightning and everything. Quickly passed, however. You look up there now, and it's uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful blue sky again. <laughs> so a quick little, quick little storm passed over us there, and now I'm just walking up, uh, walking around all the little alleys and the streets, having a little look at all of the different uh, the the churches, the chapels, uh, all of the all the little mini markets and and cafes and whatnot. And it really is a beautiful, beautiful village. If uh, if you were looking for uh, for somewhere to lay your hat, for somewhere to come to central Portugal and uh, and sit in a, in a little uh, a little quaint little uh, hidden gem village like this one, then I really really would recommend coming and checking out this place. It'd be a beautiful place to live. It really would. And look at this beautiful clock tower in front of me now. I think it's just about to chime. It's saying saying two o'clock on there now. <laughs> a beautiful beautiful tower there. I don't know if it's going to chime or not. Looks like it's just past the hour. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah. Really, really lovely, lovely streets. And, uh, and I saw a, a big sign post back there. I'll, I'll pop that on the screen here and you'll be able to see that um, there's all of the different walking routes and things uh, around this village that go up the mountain and everything. And, uh, and some of them take a couple of hours, some of them, some of them are nice and, nice and short, take 10, 20 minutes, that sort of thing. But, um, but yeah, lots and lots to do here indeed if you're into that sort of thing. But yeah, I don't know, now I think I'm gonna head back to my farm, do a few things back there. It's, uh, it's just about sort of lunchtime now, so I'm getting a bit peckish. And, um, and yeah, I'll see you back at my farm.
Okay, we're now back on our farm after that lovely morning out at Alcade. And what a fantastic village that was to have a lovely walk around in, uh, in early summertime. But now it is lunchtime and I'm feeling a little bit peckish. So I thought I would make a, a quick, quick, little, uh, quick little lunch, rustle something up. So I have got here, uh, I stopped at the, at the local butcher on the way back home. So I've got here some lovely uh, ground up rump steak. It's nice and fatty, which is gonna be fantastic for this recipe. Uh, I've got some eggs here from my own farm. I thought I'd just show you. I've got uh, I've got quite a few different breeds of chicken here. They uh, here on the farm they they lay lots of different coloured eggs, and that's uh, and that's what my, that's that's my passion. I breed uh, I breed chickens for their egg colour. So I've got here uh, I've got a duck egg, and then I've got a, a green egg here from uh, from an Aracana, and uh, and I've got a ISA brown egg there. And uh, I've got some, some extra virgin olive oil here from our own farm, some chef's pepper, some salt, some unsalted butter, a couple of slices of sourdough bread, some, uh, some um, ground up garlic powder there, some, uh, some Greek yogurt, some fresh milk, and some Worcestershire sauce. And today we're going to be making a lovely meatballs in gravy. So yeah, let's go. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a coffee too Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Okay, that just about brings an end to, to this week here on the farm. We haven't had too much to do. It's hot and it's after our harvest now. We finished the, uh, the cherry harvest a couple of weeks back. So now we are in the, uh, the lull period for a few weeks uh, before, we, uh, before we start all of the work on the, uh, on the grape harvest coming up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fantastic week. We've been to Alcade, which is an absolutely gorgeous village. I highly, highly recommend giving that place a visit. 
especially if you're property hunting that would be a, a fantastic place to uh, a fantastic place to to have a little uh, to have a little village house or something a uh, beautiful beautiful place there up on the mountainside but yeah it's been a, a wonderful week me and Mitzi uh, hope you all have if you can see me hope you all have a, a fantastic week ahead and um, we look forward to seeing you all again in the next one cheers bye bye <laughs>